Hi everyone, this is Rahul and let us uh, do a quick analysis on the Nifty, Bank Nifty and the stock for this week, right? So let's start with what uh, the Nifty chart shows us, okay? As you can see on this chart, uh, as had been moving up all this while, finally we projected at 11,362. Okay, uh, let us see if this was a Fibonacci resistance. Okay, it was very close to the 78.6% level, right? So uh, we do see signs of bearish movement, but at the same time, this is not a candlestick which is very, very reliable in terms of the fact that this is not a strong body dominating bearish candlestick. It does look like, um, we have the dark cloud cover forming here, but still it's not very convincing. Although le the level at which it has formed, it is a good price for sure, right? So uh, we can understand the next support will be at 10,735. And let's also take a look at the lower time frame, right? So when we come to the daily chart, what we see is that price is still taking support at the fast moving average, which is our 13 exponential moving average, right? So what I'm doing is uh, we're just waiting for the market to give us a close below this line. Then we know we are in a retracement. So as of now, we'll have to still wait. If we have a daily candlestick, which is body dominating, closing below our 13 moving average, then we are looking at uh, the market to retest this, this range of 10,600. Okay, until then, we will be uh, just either sideways or slightly bullish, right? But I would actually not trade a nifty until then because we're looking for a closing below this and then understand the downward movement, right? So this should be the reversal point, but we're still waiting for some confirmations from the market before we get onto the bearish side. That's what uh, is being seen from the nifty time frame, but there's a very high chance that this week could be the one where the reversal starts on nifty because if you see price had gone up earlier and after that it just went sideways for this entire week from 20th of July till now, right? Okay, now let's take a look at uh, bank nifty. This is the bank nifty chart and what we see is we have a bearish candlestick but again, it has closed exactly at the support, right? So that doesn't really say that the support is broken, but obviously price is starting to move downwards. So there's a good chance we could have a follow through this week. So we'll have to again, see the daily chart. And what we see here is that we have support, currently prices at a good support of the 62 moving average. And we have price uh, action support as well. So until we see a strong breakout below the 21,000 level with a body dominating bearish candlestick, we would still be sideways on Bank Nifty as well. Uh, Friday candlestick has a small pullback, a small spike, but um, market is not showing a lot of momentum. We'll have to see whether now the low breaks or are we going to retest the 24,200 range. So we'll have to wait and watch Bank Nifty again. Now for the stock for this week, uh, I have shortlisted Hero Moto Corp. The reason being, if you look at uh, the weekly chart, we had a rejection the previous week, again this week rejection and price is starting to move downwards, right? So this is a very good level. We have a rejection forming at the 200 day exponential moving average, which is, has always been acting as a very good resistance. And the same thing is what's happening now. Uh, we also have price moving downwards, giving indication that the selling has already started, right? Uh, target would be the first support where the price can stop will be at the 2,500 range. That would be our first target. Uh, there's a possibility that we could get a higher price to short on uh, in the beginning of the week. If not, and if the low starts to break, then we can immediately jump in as well. So I'm be, I'll be looking for a short opportunity here uh, those who have studied with us can see that this is the zigzag strategy entry, just this candlestick, 
right? So we will be looking at for, uh, capturing the downward move on Hero Motocop, at least in the 2500 range, uh, the short term price level. On the daily time frame, you can see the next support is at 2520, uh, sorry, 2500, which is exactly what we are looking to target for this week. That's it from my side. Anything else, you guys, please uh, do let me know through the comments, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you.